all right welcome back so in this video i'm going to be focusing on showing you guys all about circles and arcs so if you open up the wireframe again okay and the third section right here is going to be called arcs and that includes circles as well as arcs so first we'll get started with the circles so those are probably the easiest ones to use and to create in metricam and i'll show you why in a little bit so let's go ahead and select circle center point once you select that you'll see the dialog box up here on the left and you'll see a manual tangent and you'll see a radius as well as a diameter so these are always going to be related the radius is always going to be half the diameter you can either select the radius right now before placing that circle in here as you update the radius the circle updates on your screen so you would type in 1.0 for example and that updates the size of the circle and you can see that the circle follows my mouse until i decide to place it somewhere so i'm going to go ahead and place it right at the center over here and you'll see that it stays there that little dashes around the circle they remain there until i either press ok or that ok plus which means ok and create a new circle now tangent allows you to only create circles that are tangent to for example a line or a point or another circle uh, the reselect allows you to reselect for example if i res press the reselect button and come over here and select this circle and select here for example it'll allow me to actually move a circle that i've already created all right now as soon as i select ok i can't go back and move that again so you would have to actually select the circle and go ahead and delete it all right so if i go back and press the circle button again again the tangent if you try to place some uh, the tangent over here i click the center point and then i'm allowed to expand that but you can see if you try to click anywhere it won't do that unless you click for example on an entity but even if i click on an entity it has to be a tangent for example another circle now let me go ahead and create two circles for you two manual circles all right so this is one this is another one and now i'm going to go ahead and select to go and create a tangent one so this time i'm going to select this circle and you'll see that i'm only allowed to snap on another tangent surface okay so i can't just snap it anywhere if you try to snap it but as soon as you select this circle it snaps on the tangent tangent means two of the, the entities edges are basically touching at the closest basically point all right so i'm going to keep deleting uh, circles as i create them so it doesn't get too crowded so all i did is select them and press delete let's go ahead and start with the arc three point so if you select arc three point you'll notice that there's point tangent point one two and three so basically what you'll need to do is select one point select another point and now you're able to create a circle from that it doesn't have to actually be closed even though it can be or it can be to this point right here you can make it as small as big as possible and you can select that point now that can be very useful if you're for example uh, creating a point from here to here for example and then you want to create an arc or some kind of arc in between and then you would go ahead and trim this out of there leaving this arc for example all right and same thing with the tangent so i'm not going to go over the tangent in every single one every single one of these options has the option to do tangent which allows you to only snap a uh, tangent to another entity to the closest point okay so i'm going to go ahead and exit out and delete these two circles and now go to the next one which is arc tangent now under arc tangent you're going to see a lot of different options here under mode and same thing goes with the radius and diameter again you only need to change one of these you don't need to change both of them so for the arc two entities let's go ahead and create it using two entities so one and two. Oh, i believe i didn't select select the entity that the arc is to be tangent to and basically you would select one over here for example and two over here and it'll say unable to create the arc using this radius so uh, because of the radius that you selected as one inch you can't create it being that so i'm going to go ahead and select ok and i'm going to go ahead and select this entity and this entity and it would create a one inch radius the reason it can't over here because that's way too big for a one inch radius so you'll get messages like that telling you you can't do that so you have to obviously give it two entities that it can actually create a radius that small on okay and obviously you can make this radius as big as you want even after you select that radius all right so i'll go ahead and change it back to one now next i'm going to go to the second mode over here or really the first mode the arc two entities is actually the last mode so let's go ahead and get started right here so arc one entity arc one entity all you need to do is select one entity and specify the tangent point you can select this point for example and now you'll select one of the sides you can see that you have options you can see that it turns 
from yellow and black to white and black to whichever side you have selected. For example, I'm going to select this one and it will erase all of them and keep that one. Okay. So uh, that's how you use that one. I'm going to go ahead and select OK and plus and go to the next one, arc one point. So arc one point, you select an edge, for example, right here and specify the through point. The through point, I'm just going to select this point right here and select an entity to, that the arc is to be tangent to. I'm going to select this one and specify the through point. I'm sorry, I'm going to do this one right here. So, OK, so it says here the radius value is one inch is too small to create an arc the th through point minimum value has to be 1.236 so follow this message and change the values for example i selected the entity and selected my point but that was too big so let me go ahead and make my radius two inches and now i'll select my entity and my point and now you will see the radius is actually created to the size that i want and again i'm going to select this side for example and it will keep this side for me all right so i'm going to go ahead and select all the blue entities and delete them so i can keep going so back to arc tangent, the next one down is arc center point. Select the line to be tangent to the cir circle. So I'm going to select this line and now I'll select the line to be the center of the circle on. So I'm going to kind of select this line and you will see that you would select the circle, for example, towards this direction or towards that direction. If I select this direction, for example, I will place it tangent to this line, this direction. All right. Which is actually lined up with this line. That's the center line. So we've used this line for the circle to be tangent to and this line for it to be center of. All right. So always read those directions to know what it's asking you for to understand what it's doing. Uh, again, back to arc tangent. I'm going to go now to the arc dynamic. So select the entity that the arc to be tangent to. I'm going to select this one. Select the arrow position to be tangent to. So you can either select uh, this side or that side. I'm going to select this one. And now you can see that you can create your arc from that point. Uh, the way that you want. You can flip it from both sides here and there and snap it whenever you're done. Usually you would connect that to another point if you like or even specify a radius. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that, go back to arc tangent and now we'll go to arc three point. So select the entity that the arc is to be tangent to. I'm going to select this one, select the entity that the arc is to be tangent to and then this one and then another one. So because this is three entities, uh, even if I select three that are far away from it, it will actually use that even though it's far from it. I really want to use these three, but it's OK. So uh, if you're happy with that, you can see it selected an arc that is tangent to one, two and three. So it basically pretends that this one is right here on top and it creates the arc for you. All right. Uh, next one down is circle three entities. Select the entity that the circle is to be tangent to. So there's one and select two and three and it will create the circle tangent to these three lines. And last but not least, arc two points, we've actually already saw that. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that and delete my two circles. So next up is circle edge point. If you select that, there's also a few modes underneath that. So two points, it's very simple. If you select, for example, one point and another point, it creates the circle around those two points. If you select two point tangent two, I'm going to leave that until I create a few circles. Three point, for example, I'm going to do one two and the third point allows you to place a circle wherever you want. I'm going to select here and I'm going to do two of those. So for example, one, two and three. All right. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and create a two point tangent. That means one and two and it will create a circle tangent to do those two points. Now, if I want to do a three point tangent, that means I need three circles. So one, two and three and it creates a circle tangent to all those three circles. All right. And always, you can always go back and change one of those points if you like. Uh, if you don't like uh, the, you know, if you want to change it from this one to this one, you can always go back and do that as well. So this concludes our session to go on over the circles and the arc.